Welcome to the Estadio Urbano Caldera here in the Villa Belmiro neighborhood of Santos. And here we have Argentina against Brazil. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. How do you, Jim, see making the difference here? I'm going to go for William. Um, Brazilian flair and European discipline. He probably should score a few more, but he delivers what it says on the box. He's bright and imaginative going forward and committed to getting back. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Chip through. Oh, good stop. It had to be. And he's there to make a great save. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Played it short, and it's Rojo. Jao Miranda goes long and forward. Lovely bit of skill. Neymar with a shot. He's done very well to get to that. Oh, much more than a than a routine save for me, and and yet he just coped with with room to spare. Brazil take the lead. However they tried to stand in his way, he just was not to be denied. Fernandinho demonstrated great strength there. I mean, he really had to hold his man off and just create enough room for him to be able to get the shot away. And I think it's just top, top play. Brazil take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Now it's Neymar. This is promising. Fernandinho plays it out to the flank. Tries a through ball. Higuain looking to get on the end of this. Bilia. Luis Gustavo pumps it forwards. Oh, that's neat. Great reaction. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. a long pass towards the front Luis Gustavo and it's Douglas Costa I have to say that was an exemplary tackle stopped him dead in his tracks a chance a 
And the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Here we go again. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for Fortune favouring the Brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Marcus Rojo to Michelis. Bilia passes it through. Rojo. Di Maria. Ball swung in. Keeper's got good distance on that. William looking to get on the end of this. Massive leap! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Argentina didn't really deal with the white play. It was a, a lovely dribble down the flank, but really they've got to double up to try and stop that. And I think with the attempted goal too, they were a little fortunate. <laughs> Towering header! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Di Maria gets it back. Going for goal! It's come loose. That's gone a long way up and away. And needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. The defence can get it clear. It's Mascherano. Bilia plays a clever pass. This was gone, that's a foul. it upfield crunching tackle Di Maria Iguain Di Maria is now the subject of some adhesive marking yeah well he can be very busy in wide position so they need to double up on him a bit more Fernandinho whose goal-scoring skills have already been evident. And that's put paid to a promising move. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Marcos Rojo sticks in a foot to win it back. And it's Luis Gustavo. Luis Gustavo tries lifting it over. Williams cross, he's dealt with that well, this could fall anywhere, Di Maria hoops it upfield, Messi, puts his foot on the gas, looking to force his way through, looks to slip it through, they've managed to get it away, Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. 